Hey everyone and welcome to Morella Voyager. This is the place to be to get your complete tour of this ship. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. We are on board Morella Voyager, the latest ship in their fleet. And we're gonna do a walk-in tour from deck 14 all the way down to four, the lowest passenger deck. All right, get those trainers on, let's get our steps up and go. Morella Voyager is a mid-sized ship and carries 1,912 passengers, therefore feeling just a bit more intimate than some of the newer ships currently being launched. Voyager was originally built in 1997 for celebrity cruises and named Mercury. She then joined the TUI fleet as Mindsheaf 2 and then Hertz. And back to the now, as Morella Voyager, we begin our walking tour on Deck 14. This is primarily an adults-only area where you'll find the veranda and cabanas. Located at the very front of the ship, this is a great spot to kick back and relax. Also, the lounges here are much more comfy than the other areas of the ship. Thank you for spoiling us. The cabanas that you can see here can be hired for approximately £99 for a day. For a whole week you're looking at around £300 but as always there are deals to be had so check in the spa. There's no deck 13 on Morella as it's considered unlucky, so we are heading straight to deck 12. This is where you'll find the sports court, crazy golf course, passenger cabins, plenty of open deck space with loungers, a jogging track to go round and round, the shack bar, hideout exclusively for kids, casino, electric rooms and gym. Tucked away just before the entrance to the gym is a, well, smoking area. Strange place to have it. For your information, there are plenty of lifts located at the aft, midship and forward. Take note, modern day cruise liners. No booking necessary for the hideout, kids can come and go as they please. The Electric Rooms is a venue all about late night entertainment and fun. Apart from the casino, there's also a dance floor here with a DJ playing late, late, late.
I know some of you will be wondering, when was this filmed? It looks quiet. Well, this was about 10 a.m. on a sea day, cruising the Med. I'm slightly surprised it's not busier, to be honest with you, but I think many people had a late night and were nursing their hangovers. Whilst the open decks absolutely could get busy, we never found it problematic to find ourselves a lounger to sit down and relax. The steps you can see here to the left will take you up to a separate area of deck 14. This is a small section of the ship designated only for lounging. It's also a great spot if you'd like sea views or just to get some shots of the ship. As you can see, ample spaces to sit and relax. Just below you'll see the retractable roof to the summer house, which we'll take a peep at a little later. And now looking down at the sports arena. and back down to deck 12. And let's take a closer look at the sports arena and crazy golf course. And to access the golf course from the sports court, you need to head across the width of deck 12. Yes, I'm demonstrating this for you. There's no charge for crazy golf, nor do you need to book in advance. Just rock up and knock those balls about. Here we're looking down at the outdoor section of the summer house. We'll come back to that a little bit later. And now we make our descent to Deck 11. Deck 11 is where you'll find the Summer House Bar and Entertainment Venue, Abuelas and Nonas Restaurants, the brand new Kitchens concept which replaces the old style buffet. Essentially there are 8 kitchens here where you can sample food from around the world. Deck 11 is also home to the Snack Shack, Pools, Whirlpools, Pool Bar, Spa and Thermal Suite.
The summer house is blessed with an outdoor area as well as its very lovely indoor area and retractable roof. Abuela's is a new dining concept exclusive to Morella Voyager. It's included in your cruise fare and we are talking Mexican all the way, baby. It's open for lunch and dinner and you don't need to book to eat here. Just rock up and if it's busy, you'll be given a pager and buzzed when it's time to eat. Nonna's offers Italian fare for lunch and dinner. It's included in your cruise fare and much like Abuela's, you don't need to book to eat here. And here's the kitchens, which replaces the old style traditional buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and late night snacks. There are eight food stations here, and if you can't decide which one to eat at, well, just go to them all. The Snack Shack is your traditional poolside grill offering hot dogs, burgers, wings, mac and cheese and so on. There's also a grab and go section right next to the shack. This is where you'll find a range of sandwiches, rolls, salads and fruit. The pools are imaginatively named pool. There are also two kids plunge pools and three whirlpools. I'm gonna say it now, the temperature of the pool water on Morella Voyager is of the coldest I have ever experienced in over 60 cruises on multiple cruise lines. The imaginatively named pool bar, well, at least it does what it says on the tin.
We pay £29 each for a whole day at the Thermal Suite. This was from 7am till 10pm, so we felt it was excellent value. For just £20 extra per person, we could have accessed this for the whole week. But please be aware, these prices can fluctuate. As a part of our thermal suite pass, we also had access to this wonderful forward-facing outdoor section exclusive to the spa. As indicated so beautifully here, it's time to go down. We are going to head to deck 9, bypassing deck 10, which only has passenger cabins. Deck 9 also has primarily passenger cabins, but towards the aft, you'll find a kids area and plunge pool. You'll find mainly passenger cabins on deck 8, but also it is the top of the atrium where you'll also find the exchange. The exchange is where you'll find paid events such as the heist and lock-in. Its exclusivity is further heightened by the fact it's very difficult to find. Look for the red telephone boxes and you've made it. When the exchange is not being used for events, you can use this as a bar and it's a very nice one at that with a unique menu. And let's hit deck 7. This is where you'll find access to the promenade, the squid and anchor, new dining concept platter, surf and turf and Corolla restaurants, aperitif bar, the atrium, Broad Street shops and the upper section of the Broadway show lounge. Oh yes, it's all happening on deck 7. We'll start our tour of deck 7 by having a wander around the promenade. At the aft, there is a smoking area and it's located at the rear of the squid and anchor. on Voyager actually spans two decks. So down we go to deck six to continue our walk of the promenade. Starboard side is where you'll find the smoking areas. No, this promenade does not go around the whole ship. 
collapse. Don't worry, folks, we can cut through right here by the forward staircase and elevators and head to port side. And back up to deck seven. Whilst this mirrors starboard side, there's no smoking on the port side. And just like that, we've arrived back at the aft and the rear of the squid and anchor. Time to head inside and check out the interior of Voyager. You'll find all sorts of daytime activities at the Squid and Anchor and during the evening this turns into a veritable entertainment zone with live music. Platter is a new concept and exclusive to Voyager. Think of this as an elevated deli, yet it comes with a surcharge as well. The location seemed a little bit odd to us as the main tables are actually on the thoroughfare. Whilst the meats and cheeses and vegan items all look delicious, it's sad to say we never saw a single person eat here. I'd be very surprised if it continues in its current format. And here, the opposite side of Platter. Aperitif Bar is adjoined to two speciality dining venues, Surf and Turf Steakhouse, the clue is in the title, and Korala, specializing in Asian fare. We were never sure if this area was an overspill for aperitif bar or for the restaurants. Perhaps it's used to cater for all of those things. Eating at Surf and Turf restaurant comes at a surcharge. You can check out my vlog one week on board Morella Voyager to find out more details about this and the other dining venues. And to the opposite side, a surprisingly small Corolla. Personally, we prefer the look and feel of the other Corolla restaurants on the rest of the Morella fleet. This one just lacked the elegance. Time to get shopping, and I have to admit, we felt there was a good range of shops for a mid-sized ship, such as Voyager. Just a reminder that heading up this staircase next to the atrium would take you to the exchange. 
But let's not get distracted. Back to those shops. and at the front of this deck, the Broadway Show Lounge. and starboard side for, yep, you guessed it, more shops. That's deck seven done and dusted. Let's head down to deck six. Deck six is where you'll find Latitude 53, which is the main dining room on board Morella Voyager. The food here is included in your cruise fare. Then we have the arts house, the atrium, the coffee port, photo studio, cruise holiday store, cinema, and the other tier of the Broadway Show Lounge. Latitude is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. No need to reserve a space here, just rock up when you are hungry. Opening times will vary, so do check your daily newsletter delivered to your cabin. Surprise, it's a two-tier dining room. Oh my goodness, I love two-tier dining rooms. Part of the dining room downstairs is actually known as Vista. It's put aside as Italian dining, also included in your cruise fare. Flutes bar also spans two decks. The Arts House is a huge multi-purpose space. I've never seen so many people play in board games as I have at the Arts House. In addition, there's entertainment throughout the day and live music in the evenings.
Oh, and my beloved coffee pot. Thank you, Morella. Hot drinks here are included in the deluxe drinks package. Otherwise, there's a surcharge. In the evenings, cocktails here are espresso inspired and delicious. Love the layout of the cinema, but the screen is way too small. Yes, that is an escalator and it moves the minute you step onto it. These handy electronic kiosks have all the information you need about your cruise on board Morella Voyager. And this is the lower tier entrance to the Broadway Show Lounge. That concludes deck six and now time for deck five. We'll get in there. On deck five, you'll find Latitude 53 main dining plus Vista Italian main dining. There's also speciality dining at the Silver Fork, the atrium, destination services, reception and passenger cabins. A number of the cabins on deck 5 are also accessible cabins. At the foot of the atrium you'll find reception. At the heart of the atrium you'll also find evening entertainment. destination services for your short experiences. The Silver Fork is exclusive to Morella Voyager and one of its upscale dining venues. Yes, there is definitely a surcharge here, folks. You'll be able to see how we got on at the Silver Fork if you search Travel Blog Jamie one week on board Morella Voyager. Unfortunately, there's a dead space on deck 5, so to access the bottom of flutes, you'll need to go back up to deck 6 and come down that staircase. Of flutes, you have the entrance to Latitude and Vista. 
Again, as main dining rooms, you don't have to reserve a seat here and the food is included in your cruise fare. Oh my goodness, we're nearly there. Let's head to deck four. Deck four is mainly home to passenger cabins, including ours, by the way, and also the medical center, which I hope you never have to use. Oh, go on, let's have a quick peep at cabin 4172. This is our cabin. It's an inside cabin and aft. For the full tour and review, just search Travel Blog Jamie Morella Voyager inside cabin. It looks like that. And whilst I don't have a deck plan of deck three, this is where you'll disembark the ship when you're in port. And those all important shots of Morella Voyager from the outside. And that concludes our tour of Morella Voyager, but don't forget to check out my other vlogs in the Morella Voyager series. Thank you all for your continued support. Today's shout outs go to my patrons. You can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow travel blog Jamie on X, threads, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube.